Hey YouTube, welcome back to my video. It's been a while since I made anything regarding the Division 2 because there wasn't anything interesting about it except the changes and farming same thing over and over again and again. The only thing which came out was the Pentagon which I never played because I didn't had it in me to farm my gear all over again after playing the game for 1700 hours or maybe 2000 I don't remember it then because it's been a while since I quit the game I was actually waiting for something interesting to come out on Division and it just did but guess what guys just let me be clear here if you guys bought the gold edition or the ultimate edition it really is not worth it it was a scam by the ubisofts because the real content which is actually coming out in march is actually going to be a dlc expansion which would mean that you have to pay more to play this so yeah if the guys out there who had the standard edition well you guys are smart or you were smart and people like us or who have ordered the gold edition or the ultimate uh, ultimate edition actually turned out to be dumb which is actually true but that's the fact uh, we cannot change anything about that but uh, I'm not gonna cry about it here instead I'm just gonna talk about the Division 2 Warlord of New York expansion uh, which looks really interesting at this point because all the description and the information I had read about it is really interesting and it should have been already in the game long ago but finally it's coming out but in order to play this you have to pay extra and how much is that let me just show you uh, if you guys are linked to the Europe server like me then it would cost you around 30 euro but uh, you should have the option to get the discount 20% uh, uh, it will give you the promotion code which you can apply when you click on the pre-order and it would be for 24 euro for you but still it's really expensive for a DLC expansion after paying for the year month uh, pass but still anyways uh, it is how it is you have to pay otherwise nope it's not for you or me but I already bought the expansion because it looks interesting to me and Division 2 has always been my favorite game from the beginning so yeah I'm gonna give it another try and pay some more to Ubisoft to see how it will end up hopefully they will not disappoint us this time but we'll find out uh, next month in three weeks but anyways so what will be what we will be getting for free for year one pass just let me show you that before I talk about the DLC expansion and where is it uh, this Ubisoft alright 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 <clears throat> so the things which people who have the year one pass or have the standard edition will be getting is the title update 8 and along uh, along with that there's really nothing else just the changes to the gear loot uh, gear score 515 will be available and it will be level 30 power level I don't I don't know what that is the power level because it's been a while since I played the game but anyways you can check it out on the YouTube uh, on the Uplay or when you open the Uplay or these changes will be uh, available to read I'm not gonna read all of them because there's a lot of them uh, but it's called title update 8 uh, I'm just gonna 
re some of the basics which seems big uh, which is changes to the gear 2.0 reworked return of the so-called gold rolls all right that sounds interesting but hey they used to talk about that race is one of the hardest content and best loot is hidden behind a uh, hidden behind that but it was a lie I played the raid more than 550 times maybe and never once I got anything that was a call uh, that I could have called a god roll but nope so it's their claim at this moment that those items will be a god roll but we will have to see uh, that by ourselves but anyways uh, and some more changes to the gear which we will find out or I will talk about later when I, I will get into the game because I'm planning to make some more videos about the game but anyways let's move on and they're making changes to the recalibration uh, what are the changes extract item talents and attributes and store them permanently into your recalibration library all right that seems nice so we can also keep our library clean and the stash will be more uh, cleaner nice nice and some more changes uh, you guys can pause the video to read it because I'm not gonna do it and for you guys and I don't really want to make the really long video so just pause it here and read it yourself I don't I don't want to be rude here but it's a long list here I'm just gonna read uh, some of them some of the major stuff here but, uh, but here goes another one skill power changes they're changing the skill tier uh, skill tier is replacing skill power okay so there will be a skill tier now instead of skill power six skill tiers each item with the skill tier core attribute will add one tier all right each tier uh, each tier each item with the skill tier core attribute will add one tier okay each tier boosts the skill uh, effectiveness all right so basically the more skill tiers we will have in our gear the more powerful skill effectiveness we will have okay sounds good and some more changes to the dark zone and i really don't and i am really not interested about the dark zone here to me, it's really never uh, shine for me in the vision, the dark zone. I mean, I like the PVE in dark zone, but I wish they had the, the friendly fire system on. So if someone just want to farm or explore in the dark zone, it should be available there instead of just getting killed by the group of some randoms. That's annoying. But I don't complain about that because I never go in the dark zone. Most of the time, well, no. Anyways, this is the stuff which we will be, you will be getting for free, or whoever holds the standard edition or the gold or the or the ultimate edition, and that's about it. It's coming out tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow or the other after tomorrow, I don't really remember. It should be around in 13 February. It's 12 right now, but I'm not sure. Anyways, this was the free free stuff. Now I'm gonna read the stuff that you will get on World Lord of New York expansion. So basically we are going back to New York to hunt Aaron Keener. And it has a campaign with five main missions, eight side missions, and your level cap will be increased to level 40. And there will be a map expansion, Lower Manhattan, four districts uh, which are called four named zones so they are the district just like the division 2 map uh, fog of four explore the map to identify points of interest and activities while wide range of open world activities as well as new secrets and collectible to find okay just as the division 2 or division 1 uh, open world map we will have some more stuff to explore and the secrets to find I like it and what else open 
ended campaign all right so we will be able, be able to farm the campaign on new york so it's open well which is good enemies now scale to your low level i thought they always did but oh well explore lower manhattan without level restriction hmm, what does that mean i don't get it five five distinct investigation thread each linking the main and side mission together and leading you through the narrative all right so i guess aaron keener has four uh, sub bosses which are called warlords in order to clean clear one uh, district we have to kill one of them i guess so they are linked to the story as well as as much as we progress uh, into the story i think uh, the closer we will get to Kina, but we have to kill them and clear clear the districts. I guess it will work like the main mission and side mission are now linked to a okay, improved boss fight mechanics. I hope what say what they are saying here is true because I really want the boss fight to be feel like a boss fight, not just like a random guy with the name on his head and uh, putting him down is no issue i really want it to be a you know it i really want it to be feel as if we are fighting a boss not just another goon well unique skill mods rewards and i think we will be getting these skill, unique skill mods from the warlocks by killing them and we will be able to farm them I guess I hope so. Uh, note: Once you started your journey through the narrative campaign in Lower Manhattan, you will be unable to return to Washington D.C. until the campaign is completed. Faction of New York. All right, so we won't be able to go back to the New York before we complete the story. In uh, sorry, D.C. Before we will be able to go back to D.C., we have to finish the New York City. Uh, Rikers cleaners are coming back. So two more air factions, uh, a familiar faction, but uh, they have been what? What it says? While while the Rikers cleaners may be familiar names to the veterans of the first game, they are not quite the same faction as you might remember. In the months past between the two games, the faction have reorganized themselves after the loss of their leader. Uh, grown more battle hardened and are now more tactically minded in combat. So they're going to be more hard to beat, which I like. In addition to these, you will be you will also find the occasional last man battalion shoulder together with the black tusk. So it will be like just one of the district in division one where we had to fight all three factions uh, but I don't remember the district name but they were working together because of the Aaron Kina there anyways Riker escaped uh, inmates from the Riker Island prisoner cleaners former sanitation workers who believe the way to stop the virus is to burn it out alright so they're gonna burn you as well you and me both uh, peacekeepers, civilian group made up from better hardened survivor and former JFT members. All right, do we have to kill these peacekeepers as well? I hope so. So what else is there? A new uh, cohesive endgame experience. So the major change is level 40 season. Oh, there's so much stuff here. So I'm just gonna read these five stuff here. Season seasonal manhunt targets, uh, reimagined global events. So the global events are coming back. Leaks. Uh, this should be linked to the clan stuff. Leaks. There will be I think competition between clans to engage clan members more. I hope so. April events, season events. Mm, what else and finally a paragon system called SSD 
levels. So as if any of you have played the uh, Diablo 3, you would remember that Diablo 3 had the Paragon system. So what it was is that after you reach the maximum level, uh, you will be able to push even further. But instead of just leveling up, you will get skill points. And with those skill points, you'll be able to upgrade your attributes. And same goes with the Division 2 here. They are introducing the same system with a different name here called SSD Levels. And you'll be able to uh, increase your skills even higher. So if you're someone who really like to make yourself uh, really powerful, then this is going to be something that you're gonna love and you'll be able you and you and you'll be playing this game for a very very long time just because uh, every time when you play the game uh, this system will always make you feel like as if you are growing uh, more and more and more so spending time into this game will be a worth it after this SHD level system so yep to me, my 1700 hours goes into waste because I don't think I will be getting any benefit out of it. It's not gonna count for me. It will be a fresh start for everyone. But yep, you'll be able to upgrade your skill, uh, weapon damage, headshot damage, critical chance, uh, critical hit damage, armor, health, explosives. So basically you can make yourself like a tank. Um, take your hazard protection to 100%, nothing will affect you, utility as skill damage, haste, duration, repair, um, accuracy, stability, reload speed will be really good for the PvP guys, and ammo capacity as well. Uh, scavenging, credit steel, ceramics, polycarbonate, so yep, this is a really really good uh, addition to the game guys uh, this is one of the I think this is one of the this will be one of the key thing in DLC that will make people buy the DLC and what else is there legendary difficulty so they are introducing the legendary difficulty which will be only available for the district union arena capital building Roosevelt Island uh, it will be more harder okay I like a global difficulty you will now have the ability to set the global difficulty of of your game up to heroic okay so if you if you are someone who really like to explore the world and want the enemy to be harder you can set the difficulty to heroic affecting the difficulty of open world including control points bounties as well as mission in addition you will be able to reset the map once it is fully cleared allowing you to take it once more all right so we have to clear the entire map now before we can reset it just like the tier system mm, okay i like it directive independently from global Difficulty directive allow you to activate gameplay modifiers on the main mission. So it's just like the division one Okay, and yep, that's about it guys The DLC expansion looks really promising to me right now, but Paying the extra price for it really hurts. It really did but oh well Uh for those guys who have just only bought the standard edition, they did, did the they they did the smart move. But anyways, this will be something to look forward to. And I'm gonna get back into the division too soon and work on my gear, so I will be prepared for the New York and. More of my videos will be coming out soon on Division, guys. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.